if this value in this expression was to be x to the power of 3, this expression would have been very easy to find the value of x. But then it is not. So since it is not, then we have to solve this maths problem. To see how we're going to solve this, do you want to really know how to solve this? Then watch this video to the end and then you see how we we'll apply logical reasoning in solving this question. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics video. This is a solution to a nice exponential expression. So to solve this, we are simply going to do this. We'll have our x to the power of 2, all to the power of 2, and that is uh, 4 minus uh, 3 is going to, 9 is going to give us 3 to the power of 2, right? And this will be equal to 0. So you see, we have simplified that. From the law of indices, 2 times 2 can give us 4. So x to the power of 4 is still the same thing as x to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. So let's simplify this expression from here. Now to simplify this expression, I want you to recall an algebraic formula. From that algebraic formula, if you have a squared minus b squared, this can be equal to a minus b, right? And then we'll have a plus b, right? Good. So let's apply that expression to that, uh, uh, to that mathematical expression up there. If we apply that, we'll see that our a is equal to x squared, and then our b will be equal to 3. So let's apply that. If we apply that, that expression will give us x squared minus 3, right? And then we'll have x squared plus 3, and this both will be equal to 0. Great. So we have two mathematical expressions. The first one is x squared minus 3 equal to 0. And then we'll have our x squared plus 3 to be equal to 0. So if we solve this, we are going to have our x squared, if we add 3 to both sides, minus 3 plus 3 equal to 0 plus 3. So this will give us our x squared will be equal to 3, right? So to find the value of x from this end, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So if we take the square root of both sides, this will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 3, right? So this will clear this and then our x will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Great. Now from this other side, we're going to have our x squared plus 3 to be equal to 0. So if we subtract 3 from both sides, we'll have our x squared plus 3 minus 3 to be equal to negative 3. Great. So this will clear this, and then our x squared will be equal to negative 3. So how do we go about this? We're still going to take the square root of both sides. So if we take the square root of both sides, we'll have the square root of x equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 3. And remember, this is going to give us x. So this will give us x equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 imaginary. Why? Because if you recall, square root of negative 1 is equal to imaginary. And so over here, we have the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of negative 1. So you see, if this gives us imaginary, then the solution there will be root 3 multiply by imaginary. Fine. So the two expression, the solution to that uh, quadratic expression we have is x equal to square root of 3, right? Or 
the negative square root of 3, right? And then we'll have the negative square root of 3 imaginary. And then finally, we have the square root of 3 imaginary. These are the solution to that exponential equation that is given to us in uh, the uh, up there. So you see, solving this expression is very easy. And we're going to arrive at four different solutions uh, to this expression. I know you did enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video with your friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.